James Lindsay was suspended on Twitter for calling someone a groomer. Of course, many of you know the word groomer, what it means. It refers to someone who is trying to introduce certain things to children by gently coaxing them towards it. Groomer, of course, refers to adult activities. It's when an adult goes to a child and says, hey, try this one thing. It's totally fine and normal. And the kid says, OK, and then one step at a time. Eventually, they get that kid to do disgusting things. Now, grooming does not mean you go to a child and you overtly and directly abuse them. It means you introduce an element of the abuse in the lightest way possible that would be deemed acceptable so that you can step one. Here's the idea. Step two. Why don't you try it? Step three. Isn't that fun? Step four. OK, now do the most egregious thing. And we've seen it. Drag queen story hour is quite literally grooming. It is. There's a, there's a meme. <clears throat> it said, you don't need to ask yourself whether it's OK that an individual who's in drag is reading to children. You have to ask why an individual in drag wants to be in drag reading for children. The idea is to introduce the concept of drag to a child in a way that parents would say is fine. It's just reading a story. It's no big deal. But drag is inherently a sexualized performance. They rip their clothes off in exchange for money. I have to put it this way. Imagine we had go-go dancer story hour. Now, the women are scantily clad and exposed, but they're just reading books, right? No, you do not want to groom kids in that way. <clears throat> well, here we are. I'm going to come out and say it. The Daily Dot has said Twitter says it will ban using the word groomer as an anti-LGBTQ slur, but its enforcement is lacking. Claire Goforth, who wrote this article, I believe is a pedophile. My personal opinion. And I will also go on to say that I believe the LGBTQ community is now dominated by overt pedophiles. I've not I've not believed that previously. There is a group called Gays Against Groomers. I think they are not pedophiles or groomers. In fact, I am friends with many of them, and I know they aren't. The issue is, you know, I grew up with LGBTQ activists. In fact, I even fundraised on behalf of some of the largest LGBT rights organizations in the country. I'll leave them unnamed. Some people probably already know who I who I did campaigning for, uh, fundraising for. <clears throat> but now things are different. It used to be that when the right came out and said, if you legalize gay marriage, they're going to come for your kids. They say, no, we don't want to go anywhere near your kids. We just want to be left alone. That's great. Marjorie Taylor Greene last night on Tim Cast IRL. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. She said, I don't care what people do in the privacy of their own homes. That's between them and God. I don't, I'm out of it. Right. And I agree. Hey, man, do your thing. You know, there's there's an element of classical and traditional liberalism and do your thing. But now what's happened is they're directly going after children, telling them about overtly sexualized concepts that literally is grooming and they're lying about it. Now, here's why I say pedophiles have taken over. They are actively trying to stop people from calling out pedophiles using LGBTQ people as a shield. Well, that's it. When someone goes up to a child in a thong and asks the child to put money in that thong, that person is grooming the child, introducing overtly sexualized concept to the child. Me personally, I'd say that's a groomer. Now, if you call them that, what they're saying is you're just insulting them for being gay. And they're banning people. They started banning. They banned James Lindsay. Reddit has there was a there was a story about how Reddit was going to be enforcing some kind of rule like that. The Daily Dot reports that all the big tech platforms will now stop you from calling out groomers. That is to say, quite literally, if you see someone, uh, uh, so, someone abusing a child and trying to groom them and you call it out, they'll say you're only saying that because you're because they're gay. And then they ban you. Here's the way I described it on Timcast IRL. We're all at a playground and there's a, a, a guy looking at the children, walking up to him and licking his lips and going, ah. and we go, hey, hey, get that groomer out of there. That, that, get that groomer out of there. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of LGBTQ people walk over and say, hey, don't make fun of us. And we're like, what? I wasn't talking about you guys. I'm talking about that guy right there. You're saying all gay people. Or another way to, to view it is when I call out the guy for being a groomer, he walks over to the gay crowd the LGBTQ crowd and says, that guy's making fun of us, calling us groomers. And they all get mad. And I'm like, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, him. wait a minute. How come y'all are getting mad when I say that? And that's why I think they've been taken over. Because when you look at like 
Ariel Scarcella or Brandon Strzok or, you know, Milo Yiannopoulos. There are many prominent gay people who are not for this and totally opposed to it. And so my question is, when I point to a groomer and I say, that guy's grooming, and then a bunch of LGBTQ people go, he's just insulting LGBTQ people. I go, no, I'm talking about the pedos. Wait, why are you getting mad when I insult pedos? And there it is. They have no reason to be mad. Claire Goforth coming out to literally defend this probably because she's a pedophile, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying I have any evidence. I don't know anything about this lady, but I'm just confused as to why anyone would come out and be and be in defense of pedophiles. Hands down. Why, Claire? Why are you actively defending pedos? Let us insult, insult them. Let us call them out. It's illegal what they do when they attack children. Why are you defending this? Actively fighting against those who are calling it out. These people are pedophiles. It's the only, only explanation. Or they're pedo adjacent. That they want pedophiles to be in the LGBTQ community. I, don't, I, think, I think child abuse is wrong. Let's read the story. Actually, before we get started, my friends, today's episode of TimCast is brought to you by our wonderful sponsor, Tales from the Inverted World, a TimCast show. Go to TimCast.com, click join us, check out our new show, Tales from the Inverted World. I got to be honest, the response we've gotten has been tremendous, but there have been many people who have been like, you know, it's not for me. And I realized something. I was like, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say this. It's an audio visual. It's a listening experience with images essays, creepy storytelling, and the response we've gotten has been overwhelmingly female. No joke. And I'm like, I wonder why that is. Like people who watch TimCast are like 80% dudes, but, t- but Tales from the Inverted World leans more heavily female. And I'm like, I wonder why. And, you know, I was talking to my girlfriend and she was like, we love this stuff. She's like, me and my mom, we li- this is the stuff we listen to. And I was like, oh, wow. But either way, I think it's a great show. So go to TimCast.com, become a member to support our work, and check out Tales from the Inverted World. The latest episode's over an hour long. You put it on your TV at night, you dim the lights, creepy stories, fun to eat popcorn, too. We got more shows coming. Check it out. Help support our work as we call out these creepos. Here's a story from The Daily Dot. Twitter says it bans using groomer as an anti-LGBTQ slur, but its enforcement is lacking. Updated. They say Twitter has said to The Daily Dot that it bans calling people groomers based on their gender identity. But in practice, it often doesn't enforce this rule. On Wednesday, the Daily Dot reported that a subreddit post inadvertently intensified pressure on the Twitter ban to call uh, to uh, pressure on Twitter to ban calling LGBTQ people groomers. Okay, let me stop. You're a groomer if you're a groomer. Groomers can be straight. Groomers can be gay. What they're saying right now is that if a gay person happens to be a groomer, you're banned. You cannot call them out. And that's why I'm saying They have pedos have long tried to infiltrate the LGBTQ community and they have now successfully done it. That's it. They have successfully done it. They want to say the slur has roots in the term's original meaning, which refers to how sexual predators coerce and manipulate children in order to abuse them. After the article published, Twitter provided a statement claiming that calling transgender or non-binary people groomers violates its policies against hate speech. So you literally can't call someone who might be grooming a child a groomer. If they happen to be transgender, insane. Quote, we are committed to combating abuse motivated by hatred, prejudice and intolerance. You know what, man? I will say it now. And, 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 and a lot of people have pointed this out. Five more years or less, you will see LGBTQ P lesbian. What is it? A LG, a lesbian, gay, trans. It's LG, LGTB. It's LGBT. I thought lesbian, gay, bi, trans, queer, pedophile. They've tried to do it before. They are succeeding at doing it now. There was a famous TED talk where a woman said that that that, that uh, um, it was just a, an orientation or something they can't control. And it's like, dude, don't know, don't care. It's illegal. Don't normalize it. Don't defend it. If there is someone who has dark predilections, they can keep it to themselves, not act on it, mind their own business because nobody wants to know. And, and if and if you want to come out and talk about it publicly, you're grooming these kids when you do this with with children. That's it right there. They say earlier this week, the Daily Dot reported a tweet calling a transgender woman a groomer to see if it violated Twitter's policies against uh, abusive behavior. The Daily Dot is an activist organization. Let me just say right there, activist organization. They got mad at James Lindsay because James Lindsay called out someone for grooming kids. James Lindsay got suspended for saying someone was a groomer because Claire Goforth, I want to say this again, Claire Goforth, in my opinion, must only be a pedophile outraged that someone would dare insult 
another pedophile. Claire Goforth, I believe, is a pedophile. I am saying that because I want to make that point clear. I don't see a reason why you would be overtly defending people who are grooming children. I want you to come out and defend it. And I want Claire to come out and deny it. Claire, are you a groomer? Do you groom kids? Come out and tell me why you are not a groomer when you actively defend them. Are you groomer adjacent? Do you want groomers to be able to groom children? Please, I'd like to hear it. Now, I will point out, far be it for me to uh, ignore the obvious irony. Anti-fascists, they say, if you don't, if, if you're opposed to anti food, then you're a fascist. It's the only explanation. No, when you go and smash windows and light things on fire, I oppose you. I think fascism sucks. Terrible ideology. Communism, too, for that matter. And I think pedos are also bad. So these people that want to come out and defend groomers, just tell me why. Tell me why. No, 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 no. Hold on. I get it. If there's someone who just randomly calls a gay dude a groomer simply because they're gay. That's not what we're seeing, though. James Lindsay isn't showing pictures of a random gay man and saying he's a groomer. He's showing images of people grooming children. And you're defending it, Claire, because I think you're a groomer. I think you like to like like kids a little too much, huh? Kara Bio told the Daily Dot on Thursday that transphobia and homophobia increased significantly on Twitter earlier this year, in part due to the steady drumbeats of anti-LGBTQ rhetoric from some large influential accounts. You see what they're doing? When you call out the groomers, they go, they're just attacking gay people. And Claire and the Daily Dot come out in force and say, oh, yeah, that's exactly it. Ari Drennan. LGBTQ program director at Media Matters for America agrees that Twitter doesn't enforce its policies prohibiting harassment and abuse of LGBTQ people. Most LGBTQ people on Twitter have had the experience of reporting things and finding there is no action taken whatsoever. Oh, shut up. Same thing for me. I've had people post my address and threaten me, and they don't take it down. YouTube wouldn't take down some guy threatening me. Twitter wouldn't take down some, take down some guy posting my address. <clears throat> so spare me your, they won't take down the word. So they, they say, say, James Lindsay takes credit for the exponential increase of LGBTQ people and their allies being called groomers. <clears throat> he says, not only do I call them that a lot and accurately, I think I started the trend. Lindsay told the Daily Dot via Twitter direct message Thursday afternoon. Lindsay insists he's not transphobic or homophobic. He defends his use of the term groomer. I use groomer to apply to cult grooming, thought reform, say into queer Marxist ideology and sexual predatory grooming, which is not identical, but correlates. Adding, I only call things what they are. I don't play word games, despite my obvious rhetorical savvy. Yeah, um, no one's calling Ariel Scarcella a groomer, but she likes ladies and she's a good friend of ours. And she's not a groomer. She calls out the groomers. You see the difference here? When you have someone like, I don't know, Brandon Strzok, a gay man, or Ariel Scarcella, a lesbian woman. And I don't know if Brandon's calling it out, but I certainly know he's not on the side of this. But Ariel, for instance, has promoted gays against groomers. So you have gay people who are outright saying stay, outright saying, stay away from children. And then you have the Daily Dot being like, why? Yeah, creepy. Lindsay provided no evidence that any of the people or entities he's called groomers, which includes the Trevor Project, a suicide prevention organization, are groomers in either sense of the term as he defines it. Yes, he has. He's quite literally defined it. He's quite literally said they're talking to children encouraging them to stay away from their parents and, and, and teaching them about overtly sexual concepts. That's literally what grooming is. What they're trying to do is they're trying to push the definition of groomer into like an adult who's literally engaging in the like the actions against the child, right? Grooming is when you go to a kid and say, why don't you take a look at this book? Let, let me tell you a story, actually. Let me tell you a story about grooming. I knew a guy. He got offered money. They said, hey, we're looking for uh, uh, someone to come and hang out, be like a, a model. We need a model who's going to be like hanging out in like a luxury apartment. So they bring him up there and they, they tell him it's 200 bucks and they need him like taking shots like on the couch and things like that. And he's like, this is amazing. 200 bucks for an hour shoot. It's a modeling gig. That's all it is. Who wouldn't do that while he's there? They say, kick off your shoes, sit up on the couch, relax. Picture, picture, picture. 200 bucks. Here you go. Let us know if you're we were always looking for more. Let us know if you want to, uh, you know, come now right there. You say, well, all he did was take pictures on a couch, right? Is that grooming? That is phase one of grooming. Now you're going to say to me, what? They didn't do anything. Let me explain. 
It was the people and their intention which made it grooming. The individuals taking the photos, they were, uh, what do you call it, jig- jig- male gigolos, I guess? Is that the word? Pimps for dudes? Here's what happens next. They invite him back. He says, what's the big deal? I was just taking my shoes off. They said, well, take off your socks, you know, relax. He does that a couple times. He makes money. Sometime later, they say, would you, would you, you want to hang out in like shorts and a t-shirt? Put these on. Now he's wearing shorts and a tee. The next time they say, where this day go? You know, sleeveless tank top kind of thing. The next time they say, just you're, you're, you're coming in from swimming. Take off the shirt. Now he's just in shorts. You see where it's going. You see where it's going. But it started with them saying, just kick off your shoes and relax a little bit. That was grooming. The people who were doing it were predators. They were introducing them to, a, to an innocent, this guy to an innocent. I'm, I'm not kidding about the story, by the way. Someone I know. In the end, the dude became a male prostitute. Not, I, it is no way a joke. Welcome to the south side of Chicago. Eventually, they said, you know, look, we're not interested in the jeans and T-shirt stuff anymore because we already did that. If you want to make money, you've got to take the shorts off. And he was like, man, take the shorts off. And they were like, dude, you're going to be in a bathing suit. Guys wear Speedos all the time. OK, that's all it really is. We've already got the other photos. If you don't want the money, fine. He's like, no, no, I, I do want the money. So it's just it's just in your, you're in your you're in your, your trunks, man. You're in your boxers. Then he does it. They do that a couple times and they say, sorry, we you know, look, we, we need we need more. We need you with no with no clothes on if we're going to keep paying you. Look, all you're doing is taking your boxers off. You're, you, everyone can already see your body and your legs. What's the big deal? Then the next thing they were like, we want someone else in there with you. And he, they were like, look, you're already in here doing it. And then they sit someone down across the other side of the room. One by one, slowly over the course of a couple of months, they groomed this dude. And in the end, he was hooking up with guys. And he was, he was straight. I mean, so he claimed. But they groomed him. One, they said, you want the money? You want the money? They made him dependent. This was his job. Take the photos, man. A couple hundred bucks. He needed the money to pay his rent. He wasn't working anywhere else now. They had good money. After a, after a couple of months, we're going to take that money away unless you up it one more time. Up it one more time. That's grooming. What they're doing with kids is they're coming in drag queens with books. What's the big deal? You say it's the drag queen. What do drag queens do? Strip on stage for money. Have kids stick money, have people stick money in their underwear. So when it starts, you ask the question, is it a real photo shoot? Is it a real story time? Or is there an intention behind it? And what we're seeing now is grooming. And that's the point of grooming. Groomers don't want people to know they're grooming. Groomers want to sneak in in the shadows, making it seem like they're doing something innocent. We're just doing a photo shoot. How many times have you heard those stories about the photo shoot? These women are told, you want to be a model? Fly out. And then when two months, it's like the women were being raped and trafficked. That's what grooming is. Photo shoots are normal. No one can object to that. Story time is normal. And then you see who's doing it. People who do sexualized performances, but it's just story time. Now, the Daily Dot is actively trying to get James Lindsay banned. Claire Goforth of the Daily Dot is trying to silence anyone who would call out pedophiles. Why? I'll give you an answer. Hey, what are your thoughts in the comments? Why? Why would someone actively try and protect a pedo? Calling out groomers who are actively doing this. I can think of one reason. They're a pedophile themselves. They're not defending other people. They're defending themselves. They've infiltrated the LGBTQ community. You look at Gays Against Groomers, an organization calling this out. Clearly, gay people are not pedophiles. Clearly, the LGBTQ community is not comprised of pedophiles. But it is being taken over by them. It is being manipulated by them. And as I put it early on, we can see out in the playground, there's a pedo staring at kids and talking to them. And we say, get away from those kids, you groomer. And the groomer walked over to the group of, of, of people with pride flags and said, he's calling all of us pedos. And they're going, hey, don't call us pedos. And I'm like, no, I'm calling him a pedo. Like, well, don't call him one either. And I'm like, wait, why are you defending this guy? Meanwhile, the people who don't like the groomers in that group with pride flags stepped out and said, we oppose the grooming. We're with you. This is what's happening these days. I, 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 you know, the funny thing is we've known that PETA's have been trying to infiltrate for a long time with LGBTP, 
with maps, minor attracted persons, they have been trying over and over again to infiltrate. So we know this was their goal, and now they're doing it. It's like that, uh, that one individual who claimed to be trans, then went to a girl's bathroom and took pictures of little girls. You know, those people are, are, are that's, that's, that's not a, like, the LGBTQ community, the idea behind it is like an adult woman likes women. An adult man likes men or either could like both. But they're adults, they're mature, and in the privacy of their own homes, they want to live their lives. Or, you know, they want to be a part of the community and not be attacked for it. Totally respect all of that. But the, what we're talking about right now with groomers is people going after children. Why? Because they, they, they're groomers. It's not complicated. It's not complicated at all. This is what they're doing now. If you go on Twitter and you call them out like James Lindsay did, they're going to suspend you. Dark days indeed. I'll leave it there. Next segment is coming up at youtube.com slash Timcast. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.